Hi Bays, this is Siddha, your resident aunt agony at Bombay and welcome to another episode of Queen Bay, the love edition. Dear Queen Bay, I recently got married two months back to the love of my life. Everything was great but then I started noticing that he's super duper messy. I guess not the right kind. Uh, he never cleans after himself and every time I clean the house it's back to being messy in under a minute. How can I address this without ruining the honeymoon period? Hey non-messy lover, firstly congratulations on getting married. It's a very exciting period for you and usually when people get married, new spaces to share new spaces. It's a difficult for partners. We are, we are very territorial about things. So, so one thing that we should start doing is probably be very specific about what bothers you. Maybe start telling your partners that I prefer this thing to be folded in this manner or this thing to be kept in this way and so on. So that is one. Second is start dividing your chores fairly rather than equally. So sometimes some people don't like a particular type of chore. Hi hai. So, Try and divide activities such that both, both people are able to do due justice to the ask and then over time do reminders of how the process has been. I think it's a very, uh, very common process in getting married and sharing your space with someone new but constant communication and telling explicitly what you like and what you prefer uh, and what you dislike goes a long way and do, do all of it in a very non-accusatory tone and uh, in a very loving manner. Question number two. Dear Queen Bey, while there are so many gifts for women, I don't see the same for men. My boyfriend likes utility and is not a big fan of expensive things. What is the best thing that I can gift him which is thoughtful and pocket friendly from Broke Bay? Hey Broke Bay, I totally empathize with you but there are a multitude of options available these days for gifting to men. But the first question that you should ask yourself is what is your partner's preferred love language? For example, if they prefer gifts or do they prefer shared experiences or they prefer acts of service like kind things that you do for them. So if they prefer acts of service or kind things that you do for them, you can do something extremely emotional and personal like make a full journal of their childhood journey or a calendar of important moments in their life or do small videos from all their friends and family for their birthday wouldn't cost a thing but it will make their day if they prefer thoughtful gifts then there are multiple things you can give to them it can be grooming kits, it can be perfumes, it can be trimmers uh, and these are all functional things that they will actually use on a regular basis and there are many websites like Bombay Shaving Company where they also personalize a lot of these gifts if they prefer shared experience or activities so you can go and do interesting things like spa days, treks uh, and even a nice date under the stars with them. The next question is by BFF Lava. Hi Queen Bay, I think I love my best friend. You would say that it's okay and normal but I'm a closeted bi and my best friend is a straight girl. How can I approach this smoothly so that I don't scare her off? Hi BFF Lover, I totally understand what you're going through. It is very complicated what you're feeling. However, love is love and you must, must tell her how you feel. Uh, being closeted makes it all the more difficult but given she is your best friend, she will surely understand and acknowledge your feelings. And the fact that you've said it out there will also make you a little light-hearted about how you feel. I trust and know that your friendship will be strong enough to go through this and if she loves you back, she loves you back. If she doesn't, you at least made all the effort on your side. The next question is from Sat Woman. Dear Queen Bey, how do I stop being a hopeless romantic? I fall in love with every other person and get my heart broken in the process. Please help. Yari, this is me. I don't know if I can help you. I too exactly am this where I cannot stop falling in love uh, with people who I admire. I think. What I have done is I embrace that love and I fall deeply in it but then I also step back and reflect why I love that person and what I realize is I love certain characteristics about those people rather than the person themselves and it helps me clear my head a bit. But sorry, I wouldn't be able to help you beyond this. The next question is from Jassi Jassi Koi Nahi. Dear Queen Bey, I am not a visually attractive person. I have the braces bad dressing sense and I feel like an old soul so I have the full shebang 
None of the boys in my college look at me. What should I do to make people notice me? Hey, if your name itself is Jesse Jesse Koini, then you should know and acknowledge that you are unique and deep down you know that. I think visual attraction is a very small part of people noticing you. What people really notice is the inherent confidence, the smile, the personality that a person brings with them. And as long as you are your true self and you love who you are, there should be no problem in making anyone noticing you. However, making people notice you shouldn't be a worry at all. Hi Bays, thank you so much for sending in your questions. This was an exceptionally lovely episode and I found it extremely heartwarming. If you have any other questions, please send that to us in the link below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.